there, my name is Jessica Delfino. I live in New York City and I'm part of a craft group here called Crafter Math. We have a lot of fun making crafts and we love to make crafts. So today I'm going to show you a really fun craft for pre-kindergarten kids, pre-K. So this craft is mask making and we do this with some really basic materials. We have paper plates, these are small but you can also use large paper plates or styrofoam plates or plastic plates if that's what you have. These are some popsicle sticks. I've got some poster paints here. Just these wash right out. They're washable. They don't um, stain, so those are good. Tape, and then also scissors, and whatever basic kind of little things you can find. I have some glitter here. I have some little sort of sparkly cotton balls, and regular white cotton balls work too. You can paint those very easily. And then I have some buttons. So let's get on to our mask making. All right, first I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to decorate it with whatever colors I choose. It's my mask, it's my plate, so I can use any colors I like. And I'm choosing red for today. So we're going to make some swirls and some dots. Just decorate it. Think about, you know, what you like to do and incorporate that into your design or maybe you can write your name on it if you want to do something like that. Put a couple little splotches of lines and decorations. Just really have fun with it. Use your imagination. Go crazy. It's art. You're entitled to have that kind of fun with it. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue to mine. So let's see. Since it's a mask, I'm going to put a couple eyes or shapes where the eyes are going to go. I'm going to also put a little sort of a mouth area here on there as well. But this does not have to be what your mask looks like. You can put eyes on yours or not. Maybe you, maybe you just want one big eye, just one giant eye. That's fun. Next I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and right in the middle of the swirls that I put on my mask for the eye areas, I'm going to stick a button. So buttons are really fun because they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and they're really easy to get hold of and they're usually pretty cheap if you find them at a store. I don't recommend you take them off your clothes to use them though because then your pants will fall down or whatever and that's not fun. So let's see. And then I'm going to go over to the mouth area, put a little bit more glue on here and stick a couple cotton balls, maybe one there. Oop, here. Get a good glob of glue on there so it'll really stick. There we go. Now you might have to let the glue dry a little bit before you actually start using your mask, right? Because that's how glue works. It's going to dry, unfortunately. So we're just going to, I'm going to show you how to do this on another plate. So once your mask is dry, you're going to turn it over onto the other side, take your popsicle stick and tape it to the back. You can tape it or glue it. I recommend using tape because it's a little bit stronger and it will definitely get be able to be used immediately versus glue. You have to wait for it to dry. And then, as you can see, your stick will be the place that you hold your mask. So when your mask is dry, it will be attached and it will resemble something kind of like this. So you can hold it up and go, hello. And that is how you make a paper plate mask.